What's going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Hey man, check it out. I got the Titan 50 by Simmons right here and we're gonna go through a full review and I'm gonna tell you everything that I've discovered about this drum set since I've gotten and started playing with it. Right here, right now, on this channel, it's about to go down. So, you ready? Here we go. This is the Titan 50 by Simmons and it is replacing the SD350 which is getting ready to go away. You can pick this up for $449 and you can also get the expansion kit to add an extra time and an extra symbol for $79. This drum comes with 25 drum kits, 10 user kits so that you can create your own, three songs to play along with, and 187 drum voices. All right, so let's talk about the feel of the drum set. How does it feel to play this? Well, I, I, I'm gonna tell you, when I took it out of the box and set it up the way it's designed, I, I didn't really get the feel for it. It didn't feel good for me. And so I'm gonna advise you, if you're a little taller, you're gonna notice that maybe if, if when it comes out of the box, that the hi-hat kind of sits in the way of the tongue. So you're gonna need to rotate everything to the outside of the drum so that you can get everything out of the way and make it sit. Once I did that, once I adjusted the snare, I was good and now it feels good to actually play. It's very, very comfortable. My sticks are not getting caught on anything. I can have a good time on this drum set. It is single zone, kinda. So the snare itself is dual zone, but the rest of the drum set, cymbals and all, are single zone, kinda. The module of the Titan 50 I, let me say this, as you guys know, I have the SD1250, and I'm a little spoiled because of the color screen and all, but I will say this, at this price range, I can overlook the color screen, I understand they gotta keep the cost down. So, for what it is, it does what it's supposed to do, it works as designed, so it's real simple and easy to use. So yeah, I have no issues with it. I will say this, when you're playing it, you are gonna notice that the drum that is on the screen, as you're hitting the drum, the, the little lights come on on the thing to let you know that you're hitting it or something. It doesn't do anything. It's just a nice little feature that they gave, just something to look at. I think it was a little, it was, it's gimmicky, but it's okay. It's not, it's not a problem. It's not a, it's not a selling feature, but it's okay. Let's talk about the hardware and let's talk about the build quality. So when I pulled this out of the box, when I first got it, I thought it felt flimsy at first, and I keep, I'm keep i gonna keep saying at first. I pulled it out, it's so light, it, it, it comes pre-assembled for the most part, basically open it up and it's ready to go. Once I started playing on it, once I started putting it together rather, I started to notice that it really wasn't flimsy and I had to just give it a chance to show me what it was all about. The new design with the boxed or rectangular tubing works well. Um, the way the clips uh, clip onto it as well, uh, as far as your wire um, management, works really, I mean, that's a good little idea. It works for this because of the shape. So yeah, it works perfectly for that. So I have to admit, when it comes to build quality, just on the cage alone, what I thought was flimsy and wasn't gonna work turned out to be I was wrong and Simmons got it right. Who would have figured that out, right? Now, when we talk about the hardware itself, Simmons makes great hardware. I can't complain about the way the toms and everything is made. Symbols themselves are standard. You're gonna see these on a lot of their drums. Uh, the SD350 uh, uh, had it, the 600 had the same type of symbols. I believe the 250 may have been a little bit different. Uh, so you, the Titan 50 symbols are pretty standard uh, for this price range. Uh, so yeah, I, I have no issues there. I think think that that's just fine. Now, many of you that have the 1250, you're gonna start asking questions about pickup and response and all those type of things because you've experienced some problems on, on some of the other drum sets. So far, I cannot find an issue there, but again, I have not had it, but only about a month or so, so I have not had a chance to really like, you know, pound at it and see if I can get it to act up. Um, but it, this also goes back to tightening up those heads because that's gonna help you get that bounce back and the, the feedback that you're looking for when you're playing. Okay, I'm gonna get to one of my favorite, favorite things about this drum, and that is the connectivity. Now, when I say connectivity, I know you're thinking about the USB, and yeah, yeah, it's got USB, you can plug it in, blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's get past that. That works like you expect. Let's get to the good part. 
It's the Bluetooth capability of this drum set that made me smile, that made me get excited, and made me want to turn on my computer and start work. So let me let me explain. There's two things you can do with the Bluetooth, and you and and you're gonna love it. So I can take my my phone and attach it to the module and play music from my phone through the module and listen to it on my headset. Then I can play drums to the song that I'm playing from my phone through the module. Through Bluetooth. Yeah, exactly. Cool little feature. Well, here's another uh, little thing about what, oh, you know what, let me say this. You cannot record that song into the module because I know somebody's going to ask that question. But it, it, it connects up very, very easy. How? It connects up because all you have to do is look for, this, look for the actual connection in your Bluetooth on your phone and it's automatically going to look. You don't have to turn it on. It's always on. It's always waiting to be found by your laptop, your phone, your computer. It's always on and ready to go. So it's really, really simple to set up. And as a result, Android lovers are going to love the fact that it doesn't matter if you're using an iPhone or Android phone. It will work because it just works over Bluetooth. Boom. <laughs> So let's get to the sounds, because I know, I know, I know you want to know what it sounds like. So let me explain to you what I've discovered about this. One, according to Simmons, they re-recorded all of their sounds. So the sounds that are in this module should be on par or better with any of the sounds on any of their other modules. So they've gone through all of their acoustic drums, they redid recordings, went back into the studio, redid everything and fixed it. So they say it sounds better. What do I think? I have not been able to tell. I do not, I don't know if it's just my headphones are so good that everything sounds good or I just need to really do a real, real good close comparison and listen. But I like the way it sounds. I've always liked the way their sounds were. So I'm not disappointed in how it sounds. So I'm gonna leave that up to you guys. You tell me what you think in the comments about the sounds and the new sounds on the Titan 50 as it, as it, as it, uh, as it concerns other sounds from other modules or relates to anything that Simmons has always done. I wanna hear your feedback. But that brings me to another point that I wish I could talk about fully, but I can't because it hasn't come out yet. So as of recording this video, the app for the Titan 50 is not released. As a result, there's a special feature and a special trick that this drum set can do that I cannot get to, and it's called Titan Packs. So let me explain what it is. So many of you have hated on the sounds and we've gone back and forth in the comments about the sounds. I've made multiple videos about the sounds and I don't know if Sim has listened to it, but I will tell you this. They've created these Titan packs. So here's what you get. As I said earlier, you got about 100, you got about 25 drum kits in here right now. With the Titan pack, you can actually download a new set of drum uh, sounds and new set of drum types and put them into the module. And this is only for the Titan 50. You can put them into the module. Now, when you do that, it will remove the original uh, sounds that, that come with it, but you will not lose them because the sounds are all free. These downloads are free. Yep, I said free. You can put these sounds in and change them out. So if you're a rock drummer and you want rock, I'm pretty sure they're gonna have it that way. Maybe you got Latin, maybe you got jazz, maybe you got whatever style of drum. I don't know how they're gonna do it. I haven't seen it yet. I've only been told about it. And I can tell you this, it sounds like an amazing idea. In fact, I think if they get this right, if they get this right, I guarantee you that every other company is gonna create some form of this. If you could go in and say, you know what? I don't like these drums, I play this style of music and none of these drums work. Let me go download the other pack, swap out the drums, 
and play. And now I got only the drums that I like. Because this goes back to what I've said in other videos. Go check my other videos about sounds. Most people don't like all of the sounds. It's not that the sounds are bad. You just don't like some of the sounds that don't fit the style of music that you listen to and play. So Simmons has fixed that. And if they get this right, I guarantee you, all of these other guys are getting ready to jump on board and create this little thing. And they're giving it to you for F-R-E-E, -E, free. I can't wait to see it as of right now it's not out, but as soon as the app is released and as soon as the Titan Packs come up, I will be doing a video and I will be talking about it and showing you how to make the swap yourself. So I can't wait to see the Titan Packs. I can't wait to hear the sounds, but if it's based off of anything that I hear now, I like the sounds that I'm getting. I can't wait to see what, they've are, what they're doing next. Can't wait. And I also can't wait for them to take the same process and move it to say the 1250 or move it to some new drum set, 600, whatever it is that they're getting ready to come out with. Can't wait to see how it works. And I think that the uh, Titan 50 is the test to see how it works. And once they see how it works, I guarantee you that technology is moving and I guarantee you everybody's gonna jump on it. All right, let me finish up with this. One of the things that I love about it is the ability to expand the set. Now remember when I started, I said that this drum set is single zone, kind of, okay? So the snare is dual zone. So if you know what that means, if you hit the rim or you hit the actual head, you're gonna get two different sounds. But on everything else, you're only gonna get one sound. However, if you unplug it and look at the, uh, the plugins, you will notice that they are dual zone. They're tip ring sleeve, stereo for us old dudes. It's in stereo, which means if you put a splitter on it, you can split the sound. The module is only using half of the sound as it relates to the tom. The tom can only pick up and register one side. So what you can do is plug in another tom, connect it up, and now you can have up to eight toms on this drum. Now, remember when I said that they had 187 voices? and I was gonna explain why that was important, you can actually change the voices on those, on those other pads that you're bringing in. So you can add more cymbals, you can add more toms, you can add other sounds that are in that sound library. You can bring those in and move those around the drum and have that set up. So let me say this, in closing about the Titan 50. I think the Titan 50 is, as, a replace, as it relates to being a replacement for the SD350, this is overkill. This is so much more than what the SD350 ever was. In fact, the only thing that I would compare this to that's not a Simmons drum would have to be the Elise's Natural Mesh that I got sitting over here. And we are going to do a comparison between these two and follow up. Now, I'm trying to wait for the Jam Packs or the Titan Packs to come out but I may have to do it before then because I'm just excited to see what it does. But I wanna see how this drum compares to the Nitro Mesh and let you guys see what that is. Now, my opinion, before I even do it, it's not a fair game. Nitro Mesh already loses, but hey, I'm a Simmons, I'm a Simmons guy, I like Simmons. A real comparison is gonna be when I compare the Titan 50 to the SD600 sitting back there. Yeah, when I compare that, I wanna see how it stacks up against the SC600, but the real comparison is the Titan. My next video will have that in there where we compare the Titan to this to see what is out. I will say this, with the things, the changes that they've made, the Bluetooth connectivity, the Bluetooth audio, the Bluetooth MIDI, the changes that they've made with the dual zone to make it split up, that's not new or, you know, other drum sets have done that, but it's nice to have. With the changes that they've made uh, to the sounds, as it, what they say sound better, with those types of changes, I wanna say, I, I think Elise's, y'all better watch out, baby. They, 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 Simmons ain't playing. Simmons is raising the bar. Oh, and the Titan, the Titan packs. Oh my God. The Titan packs, y'all, listen. Yamaha, Roland, uh, all y'all, Gawa, y'all better watch out. Simmons is trying to come for y'all big time. If you're enjoying the videos, listen, click right here to get subscribed. Make sure you ding the bell to catch that next video. And also, probably right around in here somewhere, you can watch another video. And I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.